It's Tuesday, September 18, 2007, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, and I want to be your friendly news bot. I don't know what that means. Today is the anniversary of the founding of the CBS television network 80 years ago. And you know what's remarkable about CBS? They have almost as many viewers now as they did then. Congratulations, CBS. I don't know what's getting into me, but I'm having some crazy thoughts. I don't Our top story, presidential candidate Hillary Clinton unveiled a big proposal yesterday. It's her health care plan because she wanted to remind everybody of the fiasco when she tried to overhaul the nation's health care plan 14 years ago. Her next big speech is scheduled for next week. It's called, My Husband Cheats on Me. I don't know where these ideas are coming from, but I can't get them out of my head. You can steal my so don't let nobody out of here. In medical news, a man in China dropped dead, that's right, dead, after playing on the internet three consecutive days. He was playing a game, but the good news is he won a virtual unicorn for his heirs. I wonder what Hillary Clinton's health care plan does for my family if I drop dead from being online too much. I wish these words would just get out of my brain. I don't know where they're coming from. I think I got to cut back on the OJ. What's in this stuff? That explains it. The Minnesota bathroom where Senator Larry Craig was arrested has become a tourist attraction there in the airport. It's a tourist attraction, but the catch is you must be this sleazy to enter. In entertainment news, the Fox TV network censored Sally Field when she picked up her Emmy Award on Sunday. This is what TV viewers in America saw. And let's face it, if the mothers ruled the world, there would be no... Thank you so much. And this is what Sally was trying to say. Let's face it, if the mothers ruled the world, there would be no goddamn wars in the first place. Well, Sally, I guess Fox really, really doesn't like you, and apparently they're not all that crazy about free speech. And finally, British billionaire Richard Branson is reaching out to the McCann family. They lost their daughter in Portugal during a family vacation, and they have become suspects in the four-year-old's disappearance. Branson decided to reach out and help them with their legal fees because they were far too pretty to be criminals. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum. And that's news. Catch you tomorrow, everybody.